Arginus von der Planet was an American nutritionist and creator of the raw primal diet. One of the more controversial things he stipulated was the notion that all parasites, bacteria and viruses are in fact beneficial to people's health. However, for the sake of this video being simple and easy to understand, I'm only going to be focusing on the latter. In relation to the topic of viruses, von der Planets claimed that the only way to get a so-called virus was to be injected with it. It's understood that all viruses are non-living, dead protein structures. Arginus' theory was that they are all naturally occurring in the body and perform a special role of being able to dissolve toxic or dead tissue from the body in order to heal. How many people know the virus aren't alive? It's been known in the medical profession for years that you don't give antibiotics for a virus because they're ineffectual because they're not alive. They have no nucleus. They are protein parts. There's no respiration. There's no functionality. There's no glandular activity. They are not alive. But what are they? They are soaps. They are solvents. The body makes them to dissolve tissue in your body that are too toxic for the parasites, the bacteria, and the fungus to eat. Too toxic, like when I had chemo, radiation. Parasite, bacteria, fungus tried to eat into that dead tissue, they were killed because they were poisoned to death from that tissue. So what's all this contagious bullcrap about virus? That's like saying laundry soap is contagious. Well, it's in every home and everybody uses it at three o'clock in the afternoon or between 11 o'clock and three o'clock in the afternoon. Most housewives and people do their laundry. So it must be contagious because it's always happening about the same time. That's when colds and flus happen. They happen seasonally for a reason. There are 300,000 varieties of virus. Each one of them takes just a little particle of a cell at a time and disassembles it. And the pharmaceutical industry says, see, it dissolves a cell. No, it's dissolving a specific tissue in that cell, so specific that it can never damage the integrity of that cell unless you have many viruses happening at one time because of a highly toxic polluted cell from industrial pollution. And it's usually from the medical profession that that happens. But usually one, two viruses are occurring all at one time, only once in a lot of people. So, you know, one person gets, you know, the flu, then the next person gets the flu and Joe Blow across town's got it and all of a sudden all these people start cropping up and they say it's contagious. That's like saying the first crow, the rooster that starts crowing toward the sun is contagious to all the other roosters because they get up and crow too, you know. Virus are not contagious. <laughs>